wish that you were there. Everything all right in here? Yes, yes Mommy. Mommy. to Piggy that I love who knows best show. Cool. Oh well, no one will ever know. <laughs> oh yes we will. Oops. Found me Piggy, found me. That reminds me of a joke. What did the rug say to the floor? Give up? You're covered with me. No, no, no. Quiet, Fuzzy. I'm trying to watch. Ding dong! Coming! Good afternoon, ma'am. Are you tired of trash? Huh? It's dusted with dust? What are you? Saddened by soil? Guns roast out by grime? Oh, 
Oh, Piggy, the most smartest, prettiest wife ever in the whole world. I'm home. Now this guy a girl could learn to like. Hi, kids. Hi, Hi Nanny. Nanny. Are you about ready, Kermit? In a minute, Nanny. I'm just packing a few of my favorite toys. Now remember, kids, I'm not going to make a fuss about Kermit going away. We're not? Of course not. If Kermit knew how much we're going to miss him, he might not want to go at all. Right. So everyone put on your very best smiles. Okay? Okay, okay Nanny. All right, everybody. You heard what Nanny said. We all have to be brave and strong and... and, and What? Oh, gee, um, thanks, Piggy. Way to go, Piggy. You almost blew it. Yeah, we're supposed to make it easy for Kermit to leave, remember? Well... Hey, I know how to make it real easy for Kermit to leave. Watch. Huh? huh? Hey, Kermit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Fuzzy? Don't worry yeah. about leaving us. We're probably not going to miss you at all. You're not? Uh-uh. In fact, you could stay for two weeks if you really wanted to. Well, um, gee, thanks, Fuzzy. You could even stay a whole year if you were having a really good time. Hey, maybe you shouldn't come back at all. Huh? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll go tell the others. Hmm, did I miss something? Hey, everybody, I made Kermit feel so good about leaving, he'll probably never come back at all. What? <laughs> What's the matter? Did I say something wrong? You said that Kermit is never, ever coming back. I did? Uh-huh. Oh, no, this is terrible. I'll say. Kermit is helping me build this rocket to fly to the planet Ognos. And, and we designed this really cool hood ornament and everything. But if Kermit's not here to help me... Oh, hey, we'll put out the light. I can't bear to think about it. Kermit just has to come back. What would I do? Who would I talk to? Who would I marry? Oh, Piggy, Piggy, Piggy. Yes, Rolf? Will you take Kermit and promise to... Love him tenderly, love him truly, never let him get away. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Uh, a simple I do would be fine. Oh, I do! Kermit? Yeah? It's right now or never, cause you... All right, Kermit. Okay, okay, I do. Good, for she's falling in love with you. Uh hum a hum a hum a Sheesh. All right, now you can kiss the bride. But if my Kermit wasn't there... Should I or shouldn't I? Here. Kermit, I'm waiting. I shouldn't, but I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, yucko ducko patooey Huh? <laughs> Get back here, Gonzo, you little sneak! Pigs, you gotta love them. Huh? Oh boy. Hi, kids. What's going on? Oh, um, uh, I just wanted Gonzo to smell my pretty flowers. Ah, plastic. My favorite smell. <laughs> That's nice, Piggy. Hermit, I'll take your bags out to the front room and I'll call you when the taxi gets here. Okay, Nanny, thanks. Oh, my, these are heavy. You'd think you were never coming back, Kermit. What did she say? Never coming back? That's what I thought she said. You see? Even Nanny knows Kermit's not coming back. What are we going to do? Well, we have to make him want to come back. How do we do that? I have an idea. Thanks, Fuzzy, but we need an idea that'll work. Oh, never mind. How about a mushy card? Or a singing telegram. Oh, yes! <laughs> to Kermit the Frog From Rolfy the Dog And Scooter and Skeeter And Whoa. Piggy the Hog What? I said Piggy the Hog Oh, 
Oh! Um, never mind. Listen, what we need is something big. You mean like a poster? Nah, that's chicken feet. How about a billboard? Small potatoes. Balloon. Yeah, now you're talking. Well, we'll give him a balloon like he's never seen before. come back. I wonder what it would be like out there all alone without my friends. I guess I'd sort of be Hermit the Hermit. Hey, this isn't so bad. A great outdoors. A campfire. Mm, frogs never were very good at toasting marshmallows. Gosh, it gets dark awfully quick around here, doesn't it? Wow. Listen to the chirping crickets. And the hooting owl. And the howling wolf. Howling wolf? <laughs> and whatever that was. Huh? Oh, boy. Being alone isn't all it's cracked up to be. And I think this is one of those times. Ooh, Hermit T Frog, here is your life. What? Hermit, we've invited you to our television studio to. But we're not in the television studio, Ralph. We're in the nursery. We are. Hey, animal. Huh? Oopsie. Sorry. <laughs> Wow! So, anyway, as I was saying, Kermit, all your good buddies want to show you what a really swell frog we think you are and why we want you to come back after your visit. But, Ralph, I am coming back. So, Kermit T. Frog, here is your life. Kermit T. Frog was born one rainy day in India. What? But Kermit didn't mind the rain at all. Whee! Yippee! Raised by wolves in the wild backcountry of Illinois, huh? little Kermit always got along well with his fellow cubs. Cubs? I did? Next, Kermit was elected Emperor of California, um. where he ruled with kindness and made sure there was plenty of ice cream for everyone. And... <clears throat> Rolf? Uh, yeah, Kermit? None of that stuff ever happened to me. Didn't? Nope. Hey, who made this book anyway? We did! <laughs> that explains it. Sheesh. Well, so much for the past. <laughs> Let's take a look at what the future would be if you didn't come back. But, Rolf, I am. And here to tell the future is our resident fortune teller, the Wizard of Nerd. Animal, you're gonna drop my ball. Gee, I guess he really can tell the future. That was my last crystal ball. Now what am I supposed to use? Football. This'll never work. Just try it, okay, Scooter? Well, okay. The future's here for one and all. When I look into my crystal football, tell us where we all will be. If Hermit leaves us, yes siree. But Scooter! Shh! I'm getting something. <laughs> See, I knew it wouldn't work. Try again. Okay. Oh, magic ball that holds the future. Show us Rolf, our favorite pooch here. Hey, Rolf! 
this? Look, that looks like me. Cool. And you're playing the piano, just like you always wanted. Well, sort of. You see, without you there to cheer him on, Kermit, Rolf stopped practicing. He did? But I wouldn't. And he never got any further than playing elevator music. Excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Oh, 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 I beg your pardon. <laughs> Excuse me. Could you get that for me? Sure, Mac. What a bummer. Sorry, Rolf. But like I was saying... Uh, Who else do you see there, Scooter? I see big trouble in the very near future. Hey, that's our football! Dog pile on the kid with the glasses! Yeah. 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 Got it! Okay, guys, the last one on the field is a rotten egg. Right now. So anyway, Kermit, the past is past and the future is, um, uh, futured. But what about today? Let's hear from two of the loveliest girls in the nursery, your dear friends, Skeeter and Piggy. <laughs> That's Piggy and Skeeter. Right. Take it away, girls. <laughs> this is a song that I, I mean, that we wrote for you, Carmel. You like it. He's my hero, yes, indeed. He's my everything. Who, oh, me? You might recognize Kermit. Listen to this. If Kermit never comes back, the sun won't shine, the moon won't rise, and peanut butter won't stick to the roof of your mouth. Hey, it's Gonzo. Good guess, Kermit. Gee, Gonzo, that was really nice of you to say, but I am coming back. Wait a minute, Kermit. It's not as simple as that. Never is with Gonzo. Look, when the sun stops shining, the temperature of the earth will begin to drop. And... And the wind will start to blow. But, Gonzo, I'm not really... Wait! That's only the start! Animal! Big Phineas! And after the wind starts to blow, the cows won't come home. Monkeys will munch off mush. And alligators will become orthodontists. What? Oh, brother. Not only that, but... Bubbles will grow out of cheeseburgers. Wars will break out. Men will go bald. Brussels sprouts will take over the world. Pretty exciting stuff, huh? Is that it? No. Paper will flow like rivers. Square dancers will run rampant in the streets. And the fat lady will finally sing. Uh, Gonzo! There'll be a candy bar shortage! Gonzo! Cosby will be cancelled! <laughs> Gosh, Piggy, what did you do that for? Um, well, gee, I was, um, just saving you the trouble, Kenny. Uh, 
Alonzo, uh, I really don't think all of that stuff would happen just because I left the nursery. You don't? Uh -uh. Not even the part about the Brussels sprouts? Nope. Oh, well. Back to the drawing board. Clean up. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Gonzo. Now, Kermit, we have one last voice for you today. Do you recognize this one? Knock, knock. Hmm. Uh, who's there? The bear. Oh, boy. Um, the bear who? The very funny fuzzy bear! Waka waka! Whoa, please come and please come back, please! Huh? I know it's all my fault. I don't know why it's my fault, but they said it was. Right, it's your fault! What's your fault, Fuzzy? That you're never coming back to the nursery because I told you not to come back. But I didn't mean that you shouldn't come back. I just wanted you not to worry about coming back if you came back. Or, or no, wait, was it? Uh... But Fuzzy, I am coming back. You are? Sure, that's what I've been trying to tell you all along. You mean we made this whole show for you for nothing? No, Rolf. You guys made me feel great. I'll never forget it. Gosh, think the lie. Um... Well, the whole thing was my idea, Kermy. No, sir, Piggy, it was my idea. I beg to differ with you, but the idea was all mine. Hey, I was the one who told him to go away and never come back. Guys, everybody, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't... Uh, uh... Gosh, I think this is starting to get out of hand. Me stop, me stop. Thanks, animal. Welcome. Listen, you guys, I don't care whose idea it was. I think you all are pretty special. And, and you're definitely coming back to the nursery after your visit? Of course I am. <laughs> Come on, Kermit. Time to go. The taxi's here. I'm ready, Nanny. Goodbye, everybody. See you next week. <laughs> Imagine me thinking the sun wouldn't shine just because Kermit left the nursery. Huh? Oh, oh no. It's true. Fooled you. <laughs> Guys, I knew it was Animal all the time, but just in case. <laughs> hey, Kermit! Hurry back! All set, Kermit? Sure am, Nanny. I packed my toothbrush and everything. Okay, then. Have a nice trip. Thanks, Nanny. Okay, driver. Drive carefully. Okay. Huh? Oh, bye-bye. Good animals. You can't... Yeah! <laughs>